In this episode, we're going to look at BFD2, and I'm going to walk you through some of the thought processes I have as I start creating um, a drum sound. First of all, I'm clicking on my drum kit. I'm going to go to load, load an existing kit. So here's my entire library. I can either use an existing kit that came uh, preset or I can create my own. In this case, I'm going to pick my 8-bit kit expansion pack, kit number two. And as each thing loads in, if I hit the matching instrument, a little rugged on the sound. Now what I'm going to do is go over to my grooves. And it's going to say, do I want to load in an existing groove? No, I'm going to say new. So let's start off with just a basic uh, 4, 4. That's a really big sound. That bass drum is just kicking ass out there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back. Now remember we have these things called articulations. Each instrument, think of it as layers. And what I'm going to do is I've got this layer. Well, I'm going to click here. And I'm going to change the articulation to another layer. Same instrument, just recorded differently. And each one. And I'm going to change the dampening on it, which is functionally like putting a blanket on it. Go real extreme. Maybe tune it up a bit. So now what do I have? That hi-hat's a little annoying, so I'm going to hover over it, right-click, and I'm going to go to my Bosphorus uh, library, which is another extension pack, sorry, expansion pack, and I'm going to click hi hat. And as it loads in, okay, the next thing is now I've got to work my dynamics and maybe some special effects. So I'm going to go to my mixer page. Heavy, heavy bass. You, know, you still even hear bass even though I've dropped it down, that's because the overheads. I want to show you something about these overheads. I'm going to go back to here. Here's my overheads. I'm going to uh, sort of click on that bass drum. And I'm going to reduce the amount of bass in those overheads. So I'm selecting the instrument and I'm saying what kind of uh, feed is going into those overheads. Very, very powerful. So I'll come back to my mixer page, bring my bases up again. Notice that it's kick in, kick out. This is an incredible piece of software because it has many, many different microphones every, you know, in many different places. But let's go to my hi-hat. I'm going to uh, isolate that. And what I'm going to do is, once I've isolated the channel, I can now add effect. And let's see what would happen if I put a ring mod on there. Nothing really exciting, so I'm going to select a uh, flanger. Again, nothing really exciting, so maybe I'll try delay. Let's see how that works with everything. I can add multiple effects. So maybe I'll put a uh, tin can reverb on it. And I can control uh, my mix. Take it off isolation. That's my basic rhythm. Then what I can do is I can save. That's right. We can save my kit, I can save the groove, and I can call it back up. And that's all there is to it.